greetings earthlings and welcome back i'm really excited for this video because i found some awesome drugstore dupes for you guys i really took my time with these products i wanted them to be as close as possible to the high-end product i don't know if you guys can tell which side is high-end which side is drugstore if you guys could even tell a difference i know i can't like if i didn't tell you that i have two different products on each side of my face you probably would never know so yeah these products are super super spot on the only thing that isn't spot on is the brushes that i use but i did try to give you cheaper alternatives to my high-end brushes this side of my face is all drugstore 100 percent drugstore products and this side of my face is 100 percent high-end products so if you guys are on a budget you guys are gonna love this video and if you do love this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and really quick if you have dry skin um, you're not going to want to use the foundation that I use. I will find a drugstore dupe for um, a good high-end foundation for a drugstore and I'll leave it down in the description box. These are some really, really great dupes and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Kicking things off with foundation primer. This one is one of those that are just kind of spot on for me. I really cannot tell a difference between these two products besides the fact that the Smashbox is a brighter green color and the Maybelline is a light green. The green is supposed to balance out redness and color correct. I don't feel like neither one of these products really color correct, but they both do a great job at filling in the pores and creating a smooth canvas for foundation. Now this next dupe I'm super excited for because I'm convinced that this is the same product. The consistency is the same, even my color is the same. Makeup Forever, I'm in color 30, and the L'Oreal Pro Matte, I am in shade Shell Beige. And I'm going to buff the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet in with my IT Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush. If you have oily skin, you are going to love this foundation. It has great coverage and it controls your oil. I absolutely love it. I've used this foundation on and off throughout the years. So when I tried out the L'Oreal, I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff is just like the Makeup Matte Velvet. And it really is just spot on. And now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Pro Matte and my Target Up and Up Complexion Brush. This brush is seven bucks and the high-end brush that I used was IT Cosmetics. That one is $48. I just can't get over how much these two foundations are alike. Even the color is just spot on. Next dupe is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer versus NYX HD Concealer. Huge price difference. Only difference here is the color. I use the NARS Creamy Radiant to highlight and the NYX HD is more of like my skin color. So it's not as light as the NARS. But as far as consistency goes and coverage and how they blend out, the same. And I'm going to use that same IT Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush to buff that into my skin. And as far as under my eyes, I like to buff it in a bit with a brush and then tap the rest out with my ring finger. And my color in the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is Chantilly Light One. And now I'm going to buff in the NYX HD Concealer with my Target Up and Up Complexion Brush. And my color in this NYX HD Concealer is CW01 Porcelain. Now I'm going to set the concealer underneath my eyes. And again, these products are pretty much the exact same thing. The only difference really is that Airspun has a very strong scent, fragrance, as to where the Benefit Agent Zero Shine doesn't have a scent. Um, other than that, they are pretty darn close. And for the Benefit, I used my Sephora contour brush and for the airspun, I used my e.l.f. blush brush. All right, now I'm going to set the rest of my face. And today's dupe is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear. And it is a dupe for the Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder. And I'm just blown away at how similar these two products are. And I just love the finish of these powders. They're not powdery at all. And it adds a very slight glow to the skin. It's just beautiful. I'm going to go in with my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Powder Brush. This brush is $48. I love it, but it is a bit pricey. Um, another brush that is similar and I'm going to use with the drugstore powder is the Eco Tools Bronzing Powder Brush. And this is around $7 at Target. So now I'm going to apply the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear and I am in the color Translucent and in the Becca I'm in color Shell. 
Now I want to add some color back into my face and I'm going to bronze it up. I'm gonna go in first with the Bobbi Brown Elvis Duran. These two are identical and uh, the Bobbi Brown powder brush and I'm gonna hit my temples and then my cheeks and my jawline. So think of the number three going on the side of your face. And now I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques blush brush and the NYX bronzer and again do the same thing to that side. And because I do have oily skin, I like to stick with matte bronzers and I stay away from anything that has shimmer or sheen. Now I'm going to define my cheeks a bit more and I found the perfect dupe for Kat Von D's shade and light palette, the shade Sombre. And that is Rimmel London's Golden Bronze Contour Kit. As you can see, there's pretty much no difference between the two. And I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones with my MAC 109 brush and then I'm going to, I know this brush is completely different but it works, the Real Techniques setting brush and I'm gonna contour the other side with the drugstore dupe and I'm taking a eyeshadow brush and the Kat Von D back on this side and then I'm going to shape my other side with the Rimmel London but I did use the same brush and then I'm going to take the Physicians Formula Mineral, Mineral Wear and just run it down the center of my nose. And I'm really excited for this dupe because again, it's spot on. It is Max Petal Power, and it is a dupe for that same kit, the blush in that kit. Look at how similar they are, it's crazy. And I'm going to take my Sephora contour brush to apply Petal Power to the high-end side. And I am just in love with this color. Now this color does have a um, glowy finish to it. Um, but I am okay with that just because everything else is really matte. I'm okay with having a little bit of glow in my blush. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush brush and that blush from that Rimmel contour kit and apply that to the drugstore side. And oh, this color is just so gorgeous. Alright, now we're going to highlight and I'm pretty excited about this dupe as well. I have a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood and it is the highlighter in that same Rimmel contour kit so I recommend just picking that kit up because it, you have all three of your dupes in that kit. I'm using my MAC 130 to apply the Anastasia highlight first and now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. small stipple brush to apply the drugstore highlight and again I'm just blown away at how similar these are I really couldn't find any difference between the two I'm also gonna dust the tip of my nose and now I'm going to spray my high-end side with my Urban Decay all-nighter and my drugstore with the Maybelline setting spray and I am a fan of both sprays I don't like one more than the other I feel like they both get the job done because I am oily and I use a lot of powders I feel like it kind of just melts everything together and I do notice a difference in how long my makeup wears when I use a makeup setting spray so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you next time hey, ain't on the level I'm on. I'm gonna do it different and show you what you like Call me an investment